Welcome back, man, everybody, to Let's Play Kanor Heroes. It says no star metal. I really wish I could hurt those things. There's just so many of them. I'm missing out on so much experience. Experience that Pongo can live without, honestly, so destroying everything. At least the psychic things hurt him. Yeah. He tends to dodge things, and he really doesn't. Things go pretty well. Pretty much nothing actually hurts him, and the one thing I found actually hurt him during this level only does two damage, so... It's not much of concern right now. But I still like leaving no enemies behind. All these turrets, I think, turrets at least, these green things right here. That's what I always figured they were. I wish you could see them in action or something. This one lands a lot of crits. Hi. Boom. Now, game seems to be assuming that either I'll just want to tough out all these special only enemies, which is possible, or that I'll actually be able to kill them, which is not the case. At least it's not going to be the case unless I give Pongo much more balanced stats, which I don't want, because these stats as they are right now are amazing. Pongo doesn't have to care about anything in this world right now, he is effectively invincible. Aside from the one thing we found, that's where they can actually hurt him. Or if something, it's a very lucky crit. Which can still happen, it's just very, very rare. Ooh. Oh, what? I was trying to destroy that. Okay, the bombs are not exploding as I'm trying to make them explode. Why are you diving through that turret flying move? It's not necessary. Go away. Away! Ah! So I got crits slightly more often, but that's really only because one shining things always happen to my land crits. So Pongo's pretty overpowered, to say the least. I mean, he can't kill the special enemies, so that's really not anything of his concern. The only I've lost from that is experience and, I suppose, peace of mind. He still destroys everything else. Oh dear. I have nothing to do with these. I'm not getting hurt. Okay, so what do you want to get rid of next? What do you have this thing for? What do you have that for? Okay. Easy enough. No fish, we say. I'm curious as to origin of that sign. Anyways. Money! Don't mind having it. I don't feel like I'm in dire need of it. Just push! Blow up! Why isn't it blowing up? There we go. So, from here... Open! Oh. Aw, oh, crap, you're kidding! Ugh! I need to actually really kill these things. Fine game. Okay, in that case... Respect. Look how much attack he loses. Holy crap. So hopefully he can actually damage things now. He's really, really weakened though. Like, all around. Hopefully you can actually kill these things. It's a big hopefully though. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. They actually probably hurt me right now, too, so I need to actually try to dodge them now. There we go. So I can do, because I feel like it, is open that and then just return to this room, respect again. Because I honestly like having <laughs> overpowered Pongo. Normally I would say being overpowered is kind of boring in a game. For some reason, I find it really enjoyable to be really overpowered as Pongo in this game. I guess because it's a break from having to pay so much attention to everything I'm doing, all the other characters. Because <laughs> <laughs> with guns and especially Klonoa, like any single hit can be pretty devastating. But with Pongo, I don't even need to worry about getting hit by anything at all, really. So I think all is well. It include it introduces a bit more variety in playstyles, I think. And I mentioned last episode actually that, or maybe it was this one. I think it was the last. That I'm gonna get spoiled by playing as Pongo, and then later I'm gonna have a hard time at readjusting to actually having to try to not get hurt by things. Once I start playing as somebody else. But that also means in its own right that I'm actually playing the game rather differently as Ponder right now. Which I think is a fine thing. Back off, dude. Consumables. Cool. I think that gold actually comes from a, an enemy that I cannot kill without increasing my special attack further. So, you know, having increased my special attack by one point more, I'm guessing I still can't hurt anything. Yeah. Oh. Boom. Boom. No. Yeah, I forgot about that one. That statue always confused me. There's nothing there. Just ever. Oh crap! I can actually hurt these things. Pongo's not very good at grinding, uh... And grinding special meter, though. He does have the added advantage of actually being able to Iron Man. A lot of stuff though. If his defense is too high for him to get hurt at all, then you can just let him get hit a lot, because whenever he gets hit, he'll actually gain special meter. But the issue with that is that when he dodges, he doesn't gain special meter. So it's not guaranteed that he'll actually get everything on each hit if his agility stats too high. Cool. So I kill those now. It's just the giant ones I can't actually kill anymore. Since I've downgraded my special stat again. Oh cool. So I can basically kill everything here except for that one giant glibs that I I know that I'm not gonna kill ever it looks like. But hey, I'm not gonna miss it. Down we go. It's a big room, man. Hi. Oh, Pongo is immobilized. Okay, there you go. I couldn't attack or anything. He was just stuck getting hit stunned by touching the enemy. It does get kind of annoying how it happens, especially when you're trying to use a special attack. Go, go, go! This is what I must do if I want to actually manage kill these things. I really want to do that. That side bongo. Okay, so one nice thing, I suppose, is that when you use Gigantic Bomb, Bomber, I don't remember which one of those, you actually only will ever 
we won't throw the bomb through walls. So you can't actually kind of coax him into throwing the bomb in one place if you do something like I just did there. Which I suppose could be pretty devastating for the one enemy in that space. But that's a pretty specific situation you need to be in, being in such a small corner like that. Still very favorable though. Oh, then may we be on our way? There's another one. Okay, great. Without the favorable terrain. See, this situation happens too often, I think. Where I just find myself stuck with both my bombs out and then the knees waiting. Alright. May we? I'd like to get to this part quickly. For that reason, I'll just do that too. Fortunately, Honey Juice only gives you one special tax worth of special meter. But it's useful, anyways. People on Volk like reading. Not quite what I expected, but and hey, it's explosives, so. Probably would be their preferred reading material. So you probably figure out the pattern by the time we got to Pongo. But, yay! Oh. There you go. So this one's a bit more fun. In fact, the second abilities for everybody are more fun. Like, there's pretty much never any reason, except for one very specific situation, to ever use your first special ability for any character. Hello. Ah, it's a doll. I forgot about those things. But I will ha very happily show off everybody's new special attacks. Okay, so I have stuff to sell, though. Let's not forget about that. Sell things. Having money is cool, too, but it's more about than having this stuff lying around. I got rid of most, if not all, the dupes. Not gonna be able to find any stuff that improves what I already have over there. And I honestly would not mind getting Klonoa some rest. So let's see a little bit of a change of scenery. We've been kind of engulfed in the whole Volk setting for a while now, haven't we? Klonoa has reason to want to sleep under a different roof. Oh. Cool. And conveniently enough, actually, that will have to be it for this episode, too. Everyone's at the same level. At least, I don't know about Guns, but uh, at least Klonoa and Pongo are just nice. But, I'll have to see you guys next time, next episode. Let's play Klonoa Heroes and Sets into Star Metal, and... Hmm. I don't know if that vision's the conclusion of Volk or not. But there, there's gonna be some long stuff ahead of us, believe me. Some arduous, arduous... Well, mostly just one challenge, but still, we're going to have our hands full again. Bye, guys.